Hello everyone, welcome to Futani Grow. We are at Arena One Galeria in Karen to document the team to tell us their challenges and their aspiration. Welcome. First of all, my name is Bernardo Mondio Duor. I'm the coach for I'm the head coach for Nyotandogo. I've been the coach for Nyotandogo just starting for this year up to now. But uh, I've been coaching some previous schools and uh, different schools and different institu institutions. That's why I started my own academy. I have, I have experience of 11 years down the field. I've been coaching Mombasa, coast there where I've been living. I coached a team from Tuscom. We came up here in East Africa, we played East Africa 2011 and we are the champion. After 2012, I went to Arusha with the same team and then we play, we are the running, uh, runnings up. After that, I came in Nairobi and I joined Malaysia, that is Sadili. And uh, we play to inter-school, which to the uh, provincial, to the semis of the schools, inter-schools. And then we eliminated due to some documents, where the school did not have the required document which the government required. And then after that, I quit and then I go to Juzi Soccer. After working with the Ju Juzi Soccer for a couple of six months, then I decided to start my own. After a few, a few months ago, uh, again, I was being called at Light Academy. Right now I'm the coach for Light Academy, international schools. We'll just start now, could you introduce Usime Jinako, Unatokea Wapi, na Ulijuini Team Lini? I'm going Sila Kibira, Saidia Silanga. We're going to start this team with one. We're going to start with train, school Saturn and Sunday. I love that we're going to start with one. When I talk about the challenges, first of all, we have like uh, first we have lack of support. That's challenge number one. As a coach, you're going to undergo a lot of things. Of the teams, does not have some of them does not even have some food to eat. Some of them doesn't have even football tires. You see, and then as a coach, you have to figure you have to figure out where you know you can balance things. The second of all, we have inadequate coaches training, insufficient training for the coaches. Most of the youth coaches, they don't have those training. And if the government can chip up and come up with the level of making sure the, 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 the grassroots coaches, they get the, peer, the right coaches so that the skill can get the right aspect, at least we can close that gap. Volleyball, netball, or come to football, and when you know to join to e team, because of a boo who could a corner of the Pengina Pacuches there. So many corner to join, Jew was as long as I'm supporter, but you could carbuna quit. And then the fourth one is the resources, the lack of resources. We coaches, we do not have the enough resources so that we can support our kids. If we can get those resources, I tell you the truth, the football for Kenya can change. And then number four, lack of facilities. Most of the time, you know where I'm training there, those are the main, main major challenge, where you do not have even balls, cones, even the environment of the field, it does not... Uh, you see, there are some bit a little bit changes. So those are the challenges that we undergo, and we are trying out. If the according to the Constitution of the 20 Act, <coughs> 2010 Act of the Sport, no, 2013 Act of the Sport, where the meaning the Secretary for the Sport will, and it's written in the Act Six of the Constitution of the Sport, will implement and support the grassroots and the national and the international level for the every every sport across the country. It's what the football kids require from the coaches. First of all, is the coaches to appreciate the first the kids. Whoever does not, whoever understands the ball or whoever know how to play, he has to give him the support. The second is the coach must make sure the, uh, the, they ask the player what do they want in their stage of playing football. Most of the coaches do not ask the player what do they want. None of them, because so you see when we have those players and the coaches does not concern about the, uh, the player, it reach a time when they reach under 15 years old, they drop out due to, due to lack of being concerned with the coaches and the family and the entire society. Mugai, 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 Mugai,
So, mine is to make sure we work close with the government or in charge of sport and with the stakeholders, those who can come up and chip in. Making sure that these kids, if we leave them like this, these kids are going to be messed up around our society. And in five years, we'll not, we will not get them. They'll get into drugs, they'll get into gang squads. You, you see, there's a lot of gang criminals that they could can pure pressure of the society. But when you join this team, like what changes in your life, like Lithiaco, especially in uh, football? I'm going to move on, I'm going to Adi penye ni mwa jeje ni mchezo na watu mengi ni mwa mchezoni ya mengi adi penye siku na tarajia mi naomba tu mungu ni yendele tu kuwa ni fikie mbali. If I pick 15 years old or 17 years old who does not know the basic aspect of the football dribbling skills, tactical skills, running the ball, you see, it's going to be it's it's going to give me a lot of time to make sure to fix all of them. But when I start with these kids under 13, under 15, they are, they are a little bit flexible and they can understand anything easily. And you see, for that, I have my own, uh, my own club now. Right now, it's called FC Nyotandogo. No, no, in two years, we're going to play league, county league. Uh, for the nene nee, for the county within the county they'll grow up so these are just preparation no no so when i done with this one because they are learning they are growing they are learning they are growing okay when you talk about the courses that they make the youth or the player drop up drop drop uh, drop to the training first of all maybe it depends with the training of the exercise of the coaches the training might be very complicated or the training is too easy for them or the coaches shouting a lot of them you see as a coach as a role model coaches we have to figure out those things you see how can i figure out first you have to talk to the kid before you start the training and you see the condition mentally first you have to see maybe the kid did not take any even a lunch even a tea even you have some problem with their mother their parents at home so first of all you have to prepare him you have to say are you okay are you ready for the match are you ready for the training can you go to the training maybe you're going for the exercise the physical fitness long 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 jogging and you want the kids to go there maybe he's hungry you see that is a you see like you're, you're giving me a burden instead of helping him you're creating more trouble for him mbali wapi mbali hapo hivyo ndo nataka kufika hiyo mbali kwenda na ndege huko england ukifanya nini england si nikicheza ball eh ungependa baduki like in future ungependa ku join which team na nani ndo ni your role model kwa in a football de bruyne natamani ende team ya man city oh nice hata messi alianza hii ni kweli hata neema alianza hii alikuwa hapa hapa tu stage yake ni kweli na kwa na dreams kwa life za team ni kweli wangapo anapata goal europe wangapo anapata manchester arsenal <laughs> Which one is your most memorable match? The best one and also the worst one? Okay, the best one is when 2011 when I was uh, that was when I in when I was in Mombasa. We came up with Tuscom and we play East Africa tournament. I was with a very complicated team. Preparation was being so hard, but I managed them. Psychologically, they were not prepared, but we need to talk down and we put up our differences out. And we need to see, how are we going to play this one? We are going for the tournament. How are we going to do this one? What, are we, what is our main objective? Why are we going to go? Why? Why do we want us to go to play for that tournament? What is our main objective? And they say we want to win. So that we say if you want to win, you have to focus up on that one. And the spirit when you reach Nairobi, their spirit, they change, they mentally they change. They say now we are one team. At the end of the two days, we won the East Africa. And the worst thing is that uh, when I was in Sadili, things were not working well to 2011. Because I have a good team, 
but there was no any kind of good support matatizo gani unapitia nga as a like as a young footballer support atuna support huko kwetu mamangu is in support lakini babangu ndo anan support sasa zingine mamangu wana nikazia nisitoki lakini babangu ndo huwa ananisaidia okay Mine is not to seek for the kids team because uh, previously tell you I've been coaching the team from Mombasa mm -hmm. from county level mm -hmm. from grassroots level but due to now you cannot coach from the team and you want, you want to eat mm -hmm. at the end of the day you need somebody you need a food at the table so that's why I join like academy to make sure at least I have something but my aim object is even I I play for Harambee under 20 when uh, Nick Mwendo was the coach he was the chairman for federation to give me that opportunity but even if they did not apply for me so mine is to make sure i can grow as a coach like gostumle like toir murdin like uh, muhammed heri those people have been coaching me gostumle have been coming coaching me toir murdin have been here with him coaching me like uh, muinyi the chairman of uh, coaches like bobo yugi eh? those people i want to be like them i want to make sure and I, I i'm not sticking here to just staying at the kids to the kids to the kids but supporting the kids i want to make a legacy that when i grow up maybe when i get to another club my team is coming up is growing up remember it is forced to sour so serious it me like discipline wise when you unacheza ball like when you join na sai umeona changes ka gani tumekuwa discipline hadi wenye wako discipline walichujwa mimi ndo nimebakia mimi ndo captain sasa mimi naomba tu timu yetu iko discipline na mimi naona tu move far mimi ningependa kuwa kadi bronze skills zake even na mafunga hizo mapaz zake ndo ningetamani kuwa winning is not everything but making an effort to win is everything for futani grow with our upcoming footballer stars i'm evelyn our